the month of May 2023, we went on an adventurous trip to Leh Ladakh. The views from the flight was spectacular as we were landing in Dulé. We were staying in a newly opened hotel called Gayalpur Residency. We stayed in the hotel for most of the day as we needed to acclimatize to the high altitude and the low oxygen in the air. The hotel balcony provided a splendid view of the nearby location from where we could see blossoming trees and local farms. June July is the best time to visit Leh. Late evening, we went to see a couple of places. This is the main Leh city center. Most of the buildings in this area are low rising and have unique design. One thing to note is that SIM cards issued outside the Kashmir region will not work here. We had to buy a temporary prepaid connection. Airtel and Jio are the best options. You will find a lot of stupas and Buddhist prayer views here. Our first stop was the Leh Palace. You can climb to the palace from the Leh Market. But mind you, the climb is not for the aged. This is a former royal palace overlooking the city of Leh. It was constructed during the 1600s by Senge Namgyal, a 17th century king of Ladakh. It is 9 stories high, where the upper floors of the palace were used as the residence of royal family members and the lower floors comprised of stables and storerooms. Overlooking the Namgyal hills, and the Leh town, the Grand Leh Palace, is an important centre of the Buddhist religion as well as culture. The palace is now managed by the Archaeological Survey of India and currently houses a gallery and an audiovisual room. The view from the top is very mesmerising. You can see the entire city of Leh from here. Most of the doors are open to the public and this gives insights of the royal life. After seeing the palace, we left for our next destination. Along the way, we could see local houses and blossoming trees with the Ladakh range of mountains following, following us along. These tall trees that you see are the popular trees and are mainly used for timber. Our next destination was the Shanti Stupa. It was built in 1991 by a Japanese Buddhist Bhikshu Gyomyo Nakamura. The Shanti Stupa holds the relics of the Buddha at its base. The Stupa is built as a two level structure. The Shanti Stupa was built to promote world peace and prosperity and to commemorate 2500 years of Buddhism. It is considered a symbol of the ties between the people of Japan and India. Though its architectural style is different from the Ladakhi style, it is a famous tourist attraction. The Shanti Stupa overlooks the city of Leh, providing panoramic views of the city and the villages nearby. On our way back to the hotel, we stopped for a brief visit to the Leh Market. It's very well managed and one can easily spend 2-3 to three hours here. It's a small market with many eateries and shopping options with a wide pedestrian walking space and sitting space as well. 
It's a good place to buy pashmina shawls, dry fruits and local decorative stuff. The market is centrally located and one can easily visit nearby tourist attractions like Jama Masjid, Leh Palace, Zorawar Fort, Hall of Fame, Shandi Stupa, etc. You can buy items like Tibetan handicrafts, stone and silver jewelry, pashmina products, Ladakhi and Kashmiri carpets, and apricot jams here. We bought a few shawls and some delicious momos and returned to the hotel. End of day 1. Stay tuned for day 2 video coming soon. By the way, that structure that you see up there is the Leh Palace. Thanks for watching.